Oh, it's quiet now. Okay. All right, tea time. Catch me up. So, everything. Ray and Gigi are at it again. Clean again. slate removed again. Okay. This time, it definitely is a lot more serious, though. So they haven't resolved it as of this moment exactly right now? Not it's, of this moment, no. It's not resolvable. It's, oh, yeah, it's not resolvable. It, it's the sort of thing where, like, this is probably it. What happened? So... I actually Ray have no idea what happened. Ray was locked in her room for, like, a couple days. Ray was locked in her room. And yeah. Chatty started to spiral a bit because she th he thought that she was gone. For good. For good. Right. And... If I remember correctly, when Ray got back, she told Gigi to tell Chatty that she was gone for good. Oh. Which resulted Chatty hitting her with a wrench. Hitting Gigi. With a wrench, yeah. And like a prank type of situation. The ICU. Yeah. She oh. ended up in the ICU from that. Oh. And <laughs> to get back at Chatty. I believe she hit him back late when she woke up from ICU, but also took his mask. Oh. And not only took his mask, but also... Put it in her prison pocket. She, oh. Yeah, she, she put it in her pocket. Wait, so wait, what does that mean? Prison pocket. She shoved it in her pussy. <laughs> First of all, is that what is that called? A prison pocket? She prison called po it when she I told would, me I yesterday. I thought prison pocket was like the other hole. Yeah. 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 Well. <laughs> okay. I didn't know that either. But either way, she stuck Chatty's mask. Well, she she took his mask off without his consent and stuck it in her, huh? Yeah, and he had to... Uh, and I believe she kept the mask as well, so we had to she go to the She said it was because someone was off. looking after, it's like, foul. trying to chase her, so she put it there to hide it. Like, when, well, when she was talking to me yesterday, she kind of was speed talking through a lot of it. I don't know if it was, like, her normal GG things, or it was more so not wanting me to hear all of it. Oh. Um, because, like, she mentioned that the reason that uh, she, Ray wanted GG to hit chatty was because there was some rule about her not being able to do it to chatterbox so she found a loophole around it which was Gigi doing it hitting chatty yeah we're doing something like that i don't remember exactly the details. again she gave me so much information like a whole six minute wrap like oh, speed wrap yeah, i can i can hear it, it in my head now i can imagine <laughs> it yeah mm. um so then she she also said that one thing and she she this this stuck to me she told me that Ray had told her that if Gigi ever took Chatterbox's mask off, she would rip her fucking face mm. off. And she said that she thought... She, she said this in advance, like prior to this happening? She, she told, told her a Gigi long that? time ago, but she told me that she thought that it was more so of like a... You know, when someone makes like a light threat, like, oh, if you ever do this, I'm going to beat your ass up or something, you know, like, like a small yeah, yeah, threat. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I feel like that was a very specific thing, like a mask, you know? Like, it's almost like, like so specific that like r the fact mm. that Ray went out of her way to tell Gigi that and then, then it's like because it was that specific Gigi intentionally like did it because yeah, it she knew it was an intentional thing yeah. Yeah, to piss it, Ray it's, off it's one thing to get back at him with you know hit him with a wrench in return it's another thing to take the mask that's like a big thing she said she was really and pissed also, off because oh go ahead Max sorry uh, I was gonna say I don't know like the in between of it all but I believe she got the manor to go around hunting clowns so she involved her gang. Bro, what the fuck? some clowns. Oh, well, she said that whenever uh, she went into... Whenever she got hit... These are the details that she gave me that I can remember. She said that Ray was saying that she didn't know why Gigi had done it um, to Chatterbox. And then whenever she got out of the ICU, Chatterbox called her. Was telling her a bunch of shit, like talking shit, telling her that she was a bad friend and that Ray doesn't deserve her, oh and God, et cetera. Too so much that pissed her off even more, Bro. which is why she went ahead and did what she did with the whole mask situation. Um, so, like, I, I can, I at this point, it's not my job to fix anything. I didn't even know any of this shit happened since we were all, you know, in peace in a happy island, enjoying ourselves, <laughs> and then we come back to absolute disaster. Club. Yeah. So it, it, it's not any of our jobs to fix shit i don't think it's fixable if i'm being honest it's up to them to do it anyways 
it is what it is. Do I they want to like fix anything? Their colors. I, I don't think so. I, I asked GG and I, I don't I don't think they do. Yeah, I think this is the sort of thing that they can't really come back from. I, yeah. I just don't think they really worked as a friendship, I guess. I mean, they've had like several clean slates at this point. It's been a long time coming. Kind of, yeah. It's time. It's done. Honestly, that and then from when Ray updated me from that, we kind of went into the whole selling house thing. I see. Just because like, you just didn't want to deal with it anymore. I know some of the clouds were robbed and stuff, though, from the manor. Gigi said that whenever they do sell the house, she wants to give, I don't remember the clown's name, but $10,000 from the selling. So I, I guess she feels remorseful, but I don't know what else is happening. Girl's I'm house is actually, drinking. actually over for real this time. I, to be fair, it's been kind of a long time coming <laughs> for that, too. Let's be honest here. Yeah. I mean, the house doesn't the determine friendships, kept... though. You know, I think it's just True, that no, friendship agreed. that's over. Yeah, exactly. that, yeah. And and that's okay, because if it's not a healthy friendship, then why continue it? It's, you're just delaying the inevitable at this point. I still think if we do reconvene for the Vinewood house, it should be as a club more so than like a house that we all live in as roommates. Wait, like we open I, I a think... club together? I mean, that could work too. I meant more so like, you know, like a clubhouse sort of oh, thing. Oh, I was like, so we damn. We don't have a whole like, <laughs> like a beach house. A beach house that I'm game for. Yeah. I'd love that. Yeah. Some bit more low key where it's not like, you know, you're my roommate, you have to defend me sort of thing. Yeah, we became, yeah. No, I, I feel that. When it's people that you don't even know. The hazel drama, man. Good times. <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag memories, hashtag nostalgic. Hashtag memories. That was it, that was like a month ago too. It wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> it's like we have a when? quota to hit for drama every month, and it's hit it exceeds it. Yeah, seventy five. Uh, get to the house when that drama is going on. That is true. Mm, yeah. Um. Yeah. So, how does Kitty feel about everything? I haven't had a chance to talk to her, but she said yes on the email chain, so I'm assuming she's on board. Is she around? She was around earlier. I'll just call Raymond. April! Oh my god, Kitty, you're here! Yeah? Kitty, 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 are you free right now? <gasps> yeah, what's up? Oh, uh, I just woke up. And, well, not, well, that's a, I, I lied. No, thank you, you for might the good morning. Go back to sleep. No, no, you I'm awake. No, I've been no, awake no, for a couple go, hours. I'm gonna go back to sleep. I'm gonna go back to sleep. I'm gonna go back to sleep. No, uh, once wait. you hear everything, you're gonna go to sleep. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm hearing everything. That's why I'm with Ellen Max right now. We're at the tea tower. Oh, okay. And you're still awake? I went to sleep tea after tower. I heard everything. Oh, you went to, well, that's what I wanna like, we're, we're, get, I mean, getting just a bit of it right now. We could ping her. You wanna come to us right now? Okay, where are you? Okay, uh, what's your ping? Nyum, nyum, seven nine eight. Seven nine eight. L's gonna ping you. Okay. okay, see you soon. Bye. See you. Bye. -bye. She said, uh, "You're gonna go. You're gonna want to go back to sleep." And I was like, "What are you saying?" And she's like, "After you hear everything, you're gonna want to go back to sleep." <laughs> <laughs> you know I think what? that's the long it's and time. short of it. Yeah, it's time. I think. I mean, it, it, the house served its purpose. It's a nice starting point for all of us in town. No, I loved it. You know, it, it was, was fun. Nice. It was a good time. Not everything is I'm meant to last forever, you know? You either grow with people or you grow apart. And I think that's what the situation is even more so. Um, because I know when I was talking to Gigi, she, she kind of said that it was um, kind of like, okay, I want to make sure I word this properly because it could be really bad, but I think I might say it correctly. She said that Ray was starting a lot of fires and she was trying to pull up, put him out. But I was telling Gigi, Ray. I was saying that I felt like they were both kind of trying to outdo each other and are both very, uh, you know, feisty people. And she wasn't trying to put out any fires. She was trying to put make a bigger fire, you know, and it, that friendship just kept going and going and going. <laughs> and it was just, I don't know. People who, uh, like, they never want to admit that they love drama, but it's always, like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. in her mind, she but probably was putting out those fires, but in reality. But it's not to I say, mean, like, in the situation like that. I, mm -hmm. I understand that she went in trying to help Ray with, you know, bonking him and stuff like that, and it turned ugly. But, like, at the same time, if you knew it was a prank, then, like, shit can happen anyways. Like, I... I if I were to tell you that I was going to go bonk someone because you asked me, I would expect maybe whoa, to have some... Whoa, what kind of bonking are we talking about, Elle? 
What do you feel? It's like a... a oh, oh, like you know? with a wrench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, kind yeah. of bonking are you talking about? Well, that's what I was just clarifying. Because <laughs> sometimes, you know, if I were like, yeah, we bonked. Like, like yeah, what yeah. would you think? I mean, I'm... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that was, uh... That was a whole situation. When did this happen? Like, a couple days ago, or...? I don't know exact. Max, do you know when that happened with? Katrina? I don't know the specific. Uh, you know what? All three of us. I kind of like. I feel like none of us were. We were all on vacation. <laughs> we, were on vacation. <laughs> we were tanning. We were. We were against a war, but like happy. You Wait, know. Us three, I'm trying to get meta unlocks from everyone who was in Rust. <laughs> I'm just not used to it. I'm used to being the one who was gone, and then like, so I'm used to being like the one that was gone, right? And then like I come back and like um. And then I get all these like wonderful unlocks. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. So the problem here is that all three we of us all got were unlocked. Not. Yep. Yep. Mm. No, so it was a like, lot. Okay. And I don't even think I've processed it properly, but I'm tired of trying to fix people's sh shit. So I, don't, I, I honestly don't think this is fixable, anyways. It's all, it's all up to everybody to figure it out. Oh, Kitty. Wait, Kitty was in Rust too. Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay. How was your, how was, um, how was your vacation? Amazing. I'm having withdrawals. I'm on another vacation. <laughs> yeah, we're all the same. Here. All the same. <laughs> it's like coming back Bro. to a nine to five. No, it's like, it's like going crazy. to summer camp and then coming back home and you're just like sad. <laughs> <laughs> So sad, I want to go back to summer camp. Oh shit, Please. dude! Oh man, morale is low. Holy what are crap! About going on? Well, yeah. So I, I just woke up and well, not, I keep saying that, but like, um, you know, the stuff with Ray and Gigi. We're just trying to get a, like a, a clean picture of what happened. Um, and like the house, I guess we're thinking about selling it, which I'm, I'm, I'm all for. Me too. I'm just, I would want us to all walk around the house one more time. <laughs> Then, uh, <gasps> oh my god, one yes. last slumber party when yeah. oh my god. I would be yeah, oh that's sad. The, what if in we want to keep no, it, no, 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 wait, no. One last slumber party in that house. Yeah. Doesn't mean we won't have slumber parties in the future. In that house. Yeah. Yeah, and just specifically in that house. I would love that. We're still gonna find a buyer for the house too. It's, it's not gonna be sold for a while. How much are we selling it for? I I mean trying to have a discussion about that, but no one's responded to my email. So sorry, okay, we can answer it now. Um I'm down to sell it for <laughs> Five hundred thousand dollars. Nobody's gonna buy it. There's a house in the thousand. south side for four hundred k with four car garage and it hasn't sold in so long. Are we gonna sell it with furniture, or without furniture? There's Can some furniture that furniture? I want back because I can't buy it anywhere. But uh, and then the the storage crate, like the furniture storage. But other than anymore. that. He, it they it's way more expensive than when I bought that from because that was oh. I bought that from Utool. Back Got when you, you used to be able to buy it from Utool, yeah. What I feel like just get the people take? to clear what they want to keep and then go from there to see how much furniture is left and then decide on selling it with or not. It's all empty, guys. I mean, I'm fine with all my furniture there. I got no desire to really take most of it with me. I personally would like a refund on all the furniture that I contributed. You can have the dog bed back. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> Max is a savage. War changed him. <laughs> all right, fine. Okay, well, um, all right. What exactly, exactly, exactly happened? Exactly. Kitty. With what? With Ray? Yeah, um, yeah. You know, the so stuff I that makes you want to take a both nap. sides. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> okay. Raymond approached Gigi and was like, hey, do you want to help me prank my boyfriend? Oh, he ain't wrong. Call him and tell him that I'm uh, I'm leaving for good. So right, she right, did right. that. Right, right, right. You know, she yes. called Chatterbox. Oh, my God. Ray's leaving. Blah, blah. She's He's headed to the Airport. Airport. Somehow Chatterbox found them and was upset and was mad at Raymond and was like, why would you say that? And then Raymond's like, well, technically I'm not the one who called you. Gigi's the one that called you. Ooh. So he hit Gigi and some other guy named Wayne or Wade. Wade, okay. <laughs> he wrenched them. <laughs> and as she was on the ground, the last thing she heard that's been echoing in her head while she was in ICU is that Raymond said, well, I mean, it's her fault because she's the one that called you. So that's echoing in her head while she's like asleep in ICU. She wakes up 
I wasn't gonna do anything she says, but Chatterbox called her and was like, you shouldn't, uh, I wish you didn't wake up or something like that. So that pissed her off. She wait, wait, got... Chatty said that to Gigi. To Gigi, he called damn. her and was like, you shouldn't have woken up or something like that. Disrespectful, damn, are you for real? <laughs> Which Raymond said she texted Gigi, like, if you don't wake up from ICU, I'm leaving Chatty. Like, you know, she obviously was upset that Chatty did that. And Raymond said that she spoke to Chatty and says, that is my boundary. Don't hurt the people that I love and that I care about. Which by then Gigi, like Gigi didn't know that that conversation occurred because she woke up to Chatty calling her saying like, you shouldn't have woken up or whatever. So she kidnapped chatty i think she said and took his oh god this is i don't even want to rear it she took his mask and put it in her prison pocket that's okay and your definition of a prison pocket is what i initially thought it i initially thought it was the butthole but raymond said her coochie i didn't Mm. i don't know anything about uh never mind i see I see. Bro. Yeah, it was all up in there. Um, but yeah, so um, then when I spoke to Gigi, she said she her gang wasn't going to get involved because it was something be- personal between her and Ray, yada, yada, yada. And she said she initially wasn't going to no, involve her gang, but apparently she heard some clowns say that there's a bounty on her head or some shit like that. But apparently it was Kirk stirring, but by then it was too late because oh. her gang... Yeah, but shot I don't up pay the clowns to and stole 10k which she feels bad she says if we sell the house she wants to give the 10k to i forgot his name one of Pebbles? Them, yeah, mm-hmm. something with a p okay so the manor shot up the clowns wait sorry did i hear that yeah they shot up the clowns and robbed them specifically who because... do you know like again Oh, just it's a specific mm. clown yeah but um that's just because she heard that there was a bounty on her head so then she's like she told her gang like hey the clowns have a bounty on my head um i was trying to help her understand that she was valid in her feelings and feeling betrayed you know like if that's the last thing she heard her best friend say when she was hit by a wrench by their boyfriend that's completely valid and i was trying to help her understand that she crossed the line by disrespecting the leader of a clowns. As, a, as much as a joke as they want to address them, they are a group, you know? Chatterbox is the leader. You took his Poor pockets. <laughs> mask and disrespected it. And so I told her, I was like, oh, this what story if is hard they did that to, to SK and lie. took his Jesus. mask and shoved it up their butthole? Like, <laughs> so you cannot tell me that they wouldn't ride up. Like, without even being told to do that, his gang members would ride out and hunt the people who did that, you know? <laughs> That's not, I, I was like, that's not Raymond. Mask up the bubble. <laughs> just hunt crazy. You. That's just you disrespected their king. So they just hunted you on their own accord. It's not something that they told them to do. But she, like, she was just like, I'm just so sick and tired of, like, taking it in the chin. I was getting my get back, da da da. And I was like, I get that. I get wanting to get a get back. It would have been fine had it stopped at the wrench, but she took the mask and appear- and she was well aware. She even told me that months ago, Raymond told her that if she took Chatty's mask, she would kill him. She's like, I'll, I'll kill you. She even said it like how Raymond says it. So I'm like, so you knew your best friend felt strongly about you taking the mask and you did that. You know, like, it, it's, it's so hard to justify because like Raymond though initially it was like you put your best friend in the situation to setting her up for this prank but you took it up a notch by taking the mask so it, it's yeah. so, so there's no turning back they like she literally says they both said the same thing that they're just volatile to each other and they're not they're not compatible as friends and they've there's been. no fixing it they've, yeah, they've been. been they've literally been i'm tired I think, i'm tired of them fighting it's just it's done so it's tired. just if it's this fixes done. then yeah. yeah there you go i feel like if it fixes it's just gonna happen again and again and again people need to know when i walk away from each other that's yeah. exactly how i felt the they're not Hayes walking away from each other have. i was literally with raymond and she's calling everybody she's like Gigi is on site and Gigi's walking around looking like oh she's gonna like shoot her up on site yeah oh they're yeah, that they're, bad they're, on, they're that bad <laughs> they're on site for, for them. <laughs> Shit. it's bad there's no fixing it i like that Gigi. also i didn't recognize her yesterday she had blonde hair she doesn't look like herself anymore yeah she's hiding so. oh that's her hiding mm-hmm. have you guys like oh so you talked to Gigi. did you guys talk to Gigi at all i haven't seen her no 
Mm -hmm. uh, I only saw her when she rapped at me for six minutes telling me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She was crying because when I called her back after I spoke to Ray, I was a little upset and I was like, you told me you weren't getting your gang involved. Now I'm hearing you guys rob the clowns. And she just broke down and cried. She's Jesus. like, I, she's like, I don't know what people expect of me. Like, I keep getting pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed to a limit. And then I finally take revenge. And suddenly this is all my fault. And it was like a bad moment to like explain again. Like, you know, you took the mask, <laughs> you know, like, so it was just, I was just let's let her vent and listen to her. I, th I just think she just reached her breaking point in the friendship. And there's just no point. I mean, it kind of sounds like the answer's there. Just, uh, they both, I mean, obviously... They added to it. The, they both fueled the fire, but it's mm -hmm. it's just they gotta walk away from each other. It's time. It's over. The GG Ray era. It's done. And how does that make you feel, April? <laughs> Honestly, relieved. I I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's it's time. That, like I just I'm I'm tired of them fighting. I'm sick of yeah. it. I'm so. Mm -hmm. I feel like once a month we wake up and it's like Ray and Gigi are fighting. Ray and Gigi are fighting. Ray and Gigi are fighting. It's like, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, f oh, one second. I will say the only thing I don't like is I don't like Chatty telling me who I can and can't be friends with. Oh, he told you that? He's like, he's like, Kitty, are you still friends with Kiki? And I'm like, yes. And she's like, well, you might want to rethink your friendship. And I'm like, don't tell me. Like, don't tell me what to do. You know, like. Like, I, I, I agree that what she did to him is fucked up, but also don't tell me who I can and can't be friends with, you know? I think he's just speaking from where he's at right now, you know? But I get, nope. I get what you mean. Sorry, my voice is, like, deep right now. <clears throat> I needed to hiccup. <laughs> oh, all good? Oh, but yes, Ryan just...